Well, here is something brand new to many artists. Let's take a look. But before we do that, the picture that you see there now with the flowers was painted with just an ordinary three color system cadmium red, cadmium yellow, ultramarine blue. But I'm going to take that off and we're going to have a look at something that is brand new to many artists. Let's take a look. Here we see the six color system and at the bottom you see six cubes plus the seventh one which is an offspring of the uh, blue and the yellow which is part of the rainbow spectrum. The top left of the cube is cadmium red and you have a lemon yellow and then you have cerulean bottom left alizarin crimson cadmium yellow and then French, French ultramarine. Above that you see the, uh, the block where you have your main color the top is your highlight and on the right hand side is your shadow. Now we will be going into the makeup of the highlight and the shadow very briefly a little bit later on. <clears throat> Let's go up. Here we've got two cubes, cerulean and ultramarine on the right lemon yellow on the left, cadmium yellow on the right, cadmium red on the left and alizarin crimson on the right. And then we're going to move over to the central part here and we will be taking a look at that. In here you will see the two reds, you've got the cadmium red and alizarin crimson. We've added some white into three blocks, a little bit of white, a bit more white and some more to give you the tints of the cadmium red. We've done the same with the alizarin crimson. We've added some white to it to give you the tints down to a, a, a lower value and you can see the difference in these tints where the darker uh, alizarin crimson is actually giving you a more pink color and down the bottom, look at that nice, it's almost like a, a Naples yellow that you can get just just from that. And then the, the same is going to be for each and every one of these. And this line is actually your chroma colors where you take the color straight out of the tube and they are mixed together without any white or any other color at all. Just those from those six tubes. The top one here is, is your shadow ring where if you want to get the, the, the shadow color of red You'll take a bit of the opposite color, which is some of your green, you put a tiny touch into there and you'll get your shadow color of that. The opposite is also true. If you want to get the shadow color of green, you'll take the complementary color, which is the opposite of the wheel. It doesn't matter which of these reds you take and then you'll get your shadow color of the green. Now, the outer circle is what we call the grays. Now to get the grey of any colour is you're going to mix the shadow colour which as we mentioned is the opposite colour which is your green into there you get your shadow colour. Then you're going to add some white to it to lighten that shadow colour and that is your, your greys. That will be the same for any of these other colours. You will take, for argument's sake, you've got your, your violet here. You're going to take a yellow green, add it into here, get your shadow then add your whites to it and to, to get your greys and look look at the difference of the greys where alizarin crimson has got almost like a greeny grey as opposed to the slate grey here on the uh, on, on the um, tertiary colour between your red and, and your violet. The violet colours, look at the lovely violets that you can get from uh, just from your alizarin crimson. Now these mixes in here or from um, alizarin, uh, um, alizarin crimson and your ultramarine blue going into, into here. But we will look at these uh, different mixes um, as, as, as we go into it. This side here will be your, you'll have your cadmium red mixed with your cadmium yellow 
into there to give you your oranges. This is your orange, and then you get your red orange, which is now your tertiary color. That's your secondary color, tertiary color, and your primary color. Now, going back to the main color wheel, the six colors, we have your cadmium red, alizarin crimson, you have your um, ultramarine blue, cerulean, you have uh, lemon yellow and cadmium yellow. Now, cadmium yellow is your, your warm uh, yellow, lemon yellow is your cold yellow, you have your uh, cold blue, cerulean, we have the warm blue, which is your um, ultramarine blue. You have your cold red, alizarin crimson, and your warm red, which is cadmium red. Now, what we're doing here for these mixes, I've taken the cadmium red and the cadmium yellow, and then you get your, your different mixes, where you've got your yellow orange, your normal orange, and your red orange, together with their shadow colors and their tints and their grays. On this side here, I've taken, as I mentioned before, the cat, uh, alizarin crimson and your ultramarine blue, and we've got all these ranges in between. This wheel here, I've taken the cerulean blue with the lemon yellow, and we get these ranges of greens. But we come to something else where you can take, we've just done alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue, we're going to get it where we can take the cadmium red and ultramarine blue and we'll get a totally different range of colors here. We can take the cadmium red with the cerulean blue and get a different range of purples as well. Similarly with the alizarin crimson you can mix that yellow and get a range of colors, that and another yellow, get another range of colors and you can get um, all the different mixes that you can get inside here. You can use your different blues and your different um, as well. You can get your cadmium yellow with a uh, ultramarine blue, which is different to the one you've got here. So let's take a look at some of the other mixes as opposed to what we've got here. I've put these sideways for the sake of the video and this mixture that you've got in here is alizarin crimson and cerulean. Where here is your straight cerulean color. Here is your normal alizarin crimson, as you see on the, on the main wheel. And in between these here, we have the mixes. Where this one here is a 50-50 mix between that and that. We've got this with the tints, shadows, and the grays. This, the tertiary here is again um, a mixture between this one and that one to get that, a mixture of this one to that one to get this one. And obviously what it can happen is you can get all the different ranges in between these. So there's a, a tremendous amount that you can get. Here we've got cadmium red and cerulean. And you can see there's a different range of purples. We Here we've got more like a almost blue turquoise. And here you can see it's almost going into a green color. Um, the, the red and the blue into this side here. Here we have uh, the cadmium red, cerulean blue, and you get almost like, like a muddy type purple in this here. This one here, we got cadmium red and ultramarine, where we start getting more of a, of a purpley tinge into this one, and uh, it's also a little bit more muddy than what the cadmium red and uh, 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 not cadmium red, the alizarin, uh, alizarin crimson or the crimson red between there and there was a bit brighter one. But each of these colors have their own uses in the different uh, paintings. So from here you have a tremendous amount that you can choose from together with the other that we've already seen. So let's have a look and see the green mixes at this time. Okay, here we have the green mixes. We have cadmium yellow and cerulean blue. And you've got all the different uh, greens, the, 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 the blue greens, ultramarine blue, French ultramarine blue and cadmium lemon starts giving you a brighter color greens. And again, 
this is the, uh, the same as on the main wheel where we've not got any color it's completely it's a plain lemon yellow this one is plain ultramarine blue and it's tints plus the shadow color and the gray and look at the different types of grays that you're getting inside here here we have French uh, ultramarine and cadmium yellow to give me give give you these and like here you start getting the olive green or different types of of greens and once again in between ranges in, you can get all these ranges and a lot of these colors that you get here you can buy in a shop in a tube oh dear what do we have here yeah we have an incomplete chart which I didn't have time to fix up I had to stop it before coming through to New Zealand and in building up my business I haven't had time to complete it but it's you can see how I started by drawing in all the the, the, the semicircles that I've got here marking them out and then you can see where I've put the main cadmium yellow, alizarin crimson where later on I'll do the range across through there this one I've done the, the, the middle mix between the two and you can see that type of orange going through cadmium yellow, alizarin crimson, cadmium red and cadmium lemon I still have to do those so this is what you need to do to be able to do those same charts take the six colors and I'll zoom in just now so you can actually see the construction of these and do your own because these you put away and whenever you want to get a color and you're not sure what color to use take out these charts and immediately you'll see what colors to use and in what proportions to use them to get the colors that you need and if you do that I guarantee that 90% of all your color mixings will disappear. Here you can see the construction lines and the start of the alizarin crimson and the cadmium yellow. And I encourage you to do the same. 